Hi, I'm Christina. I'm going to be introducing Sean this evening and she's going to tell us a little bit about her herself because she's actually very experienced in the neuro-linguistic programming world. Now that sounds interesting to me and I'm sure it's interesting to you, but she also is a hypnotherapist. She does a bunch of other things and I'm just going to find out a little bit more about that and dig into that because, you know, like most of us, you probably want to know a little bit about how that works. Hi, Sean. Lovely to meet you. Hello, Christina. How are you this evening? I'm very well, thank you. I'm looking forward to your explanation on uh, on, on what you actually do. Um, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about what neuro linguistic programming is, because I'm quite sort of like, wow, what is that? That sounds so interesting. Well, it's all about specific language we use, um, our behaviour patterns, and how um, our characteristics really map the world we live in, but our world we live in. Um, it's very um, in-depth where we can do a lot of changes with people um, within their lives where things need to be shifted to, from a negative to a positive. Um, it's quick, less content, so we don't need to know too much specifics about um, if there were tra something was, so say, traumatic. So the less we know, the better and the quicker the solution. So no, you're saying that they don't have to reveal some of their traumas because hey, that can be awful, reliving those things. They have to have a process of where they're at the moment and how their mindset is. And then you're able to help them correct that very, very sensitively. Is that what we're talking about? Yes, yes. So we would ask a client, um, they would tell us uh, some parts of the, the trauma. So specific bits, we would ask. Um, so say, um, we know this point is from say a where they were a child um and we would go back like kind of like mapping it so we would find well ask them what how they're feeling at this precise moment why have they come to us um and they'll explain a little bit of how they're feeling um the point where they where they want to get to and then we say right then okay so you're saying you're feeling this way because of maybe was it an event in your life when you were a child um or which point did you start feeling that way so we're trying kind of go back in time to try and find the cause which is eliminating and then start eliminating the cause what you call the cause effect okay cause effect that sounds that sounds sensible because we have core things in our in our childhood <clears throat> yes. and we tend to carry those forwards with us which you know, um, even from my own sort of reflection, and I'm sure other people are thinking the same thing, we have things that we know happened that sort of influence our personality, our responses, and we carry them into our lives as adults, which is really sort of crazy because we might even recognize them, but on our own, maybe we can't sort of um, work on them. So you put people in a safe space and you talk them through this sort of process. I mean, you obviously had a lot of success with that in the past. And so could you give us a, a, a little simple scenario of somebody or something that would you know, uh, perhaps be somebody that would be thinking about neuro-linguistic programming? Um, I, I, a client who has, as an adult, come into being an adult, as it, like a scenario, um, and what they find in it, there's a blockage there or things keep cropping up from the past and they need to eliminate it. So they feel whether tra trauma has caused them to do things they didn't want to do or um it's where they need to correct it because they know how they're reacting in the now and they want to clear it so they can go into the future with kind of like a clean kind of, kind of like a clean slate um so we can't ever take away um the event that or, that the image or the movie we call it is always there as imprinted you can't take that away but we can take the emotion connected and linked to it excellent so you're reframing their emotions and how they how they yeah, actually re reacting to that that makes a lot of yeah. sense yes. okay i like that and so you know people are going to have things like they might be really anxious because of their childhood their parents may have split up a hundred but things might have happened to make them feel completely insecure then they turn to say drugs we've got a good example of that many people do it's, it's normal i'm talking recreational drugs and then they end up in a in a, in perhaps a place they didn't intend it to be, which I don't think people do. I think a lot of people find themselves in places out of no fault of their own, actually, because they're reenacting something, perhaps. 
Um, that's interesting. So you, you, this powerful tool that you, you use is actually, as I understand it, quite a simple process. People can sort of um, jump on this and get reasonably quick results and feel better yeah. reasonably quickly. I, lo- I went into NLP because I like the concept of it. It was less evasive. It got to the, the issue quite quickly instead of dragging it out too long because at the end of the day, you don't want the client to relive or to go through the process too much because at the end of the day, it, it will start affecting them in the now. So we need it to be cleared quite quickly or, you know, resonated um, so the client can move forward quite quickly in the first session to the next session. So the less sessions, the better for the client. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think putting people through the process of pain or um, uncomfortableness is not necessary. I like that. That's fantastic. Okay, so it's a simple process, and and you're very knowledgeable. You've been doing it a long time. Are you actually qualified in this? I know this. How long have you been actually be been doing this particular practice? Um, I've done it for a year now. It's um, I trained um, no more than that, about a year and a half now. <laughs> A time flies when you're having fun <laughs> um helping people so yeah it's 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 so engaging and it to see the results from the client to see the change to shift in their face it's changing their personality the relief of the stress just literally coming re- literally coming off of their body you can see it the physiology of it that them changing with just shifting a belief or a limited or a block um or just changing the feeling of the event can make a big big difference to them moving forward and it and it's it's it's, it's quite special yeah i agree with that i can understand that so then i no, so i'll correct that so you've been in hypnotherapy as well for a while is that correct how long have you been because you combine the two i think but i mean you correct me on that and let me know your thoughts on that you also do well, i tra- and i trained yeah well i trained with um nlp first and then it was hypnotherapy the next stage um and coaching so that was that was really really good and timeline therapy as well timeline therapy um with hypnotherapy just blew my mind it was just an, an e- the extra big level on top of another level and another level where with hypnotherapy I, I mean i've had hypnotherapy done to me so i knew roughly what i was going into what what was expected with like say the trance state they get you into um but it was the fact that you can take these people to a, into like um, transport them to somewhere else and then give them resources, positive resources, like positivity, resilient, making them feel resilient. All these good positivities of um, resources that which we, well, we use for our, out our life to go forward um, and to, to achieve things. But also they get you can relieve stress you can highlight um negativity like if you were smoking we can make a difference a shift from a a like to a dislike so we can shift it for them um so everything is quickly it's not you're not waiting oh i'm just putting a patch on me every day and just saying oh i got another how many months down the line um it's it's quite how would you put it not it's rapid rapid results i think it's great so now for those people watching this obviously comment guys if you're feeling that you understand this and want to know more about it you can comment to sean comment below obviously message us but you know comment on that please because obviously we're going live here talking to you guys um also the, the you know there's a lot here i mean people suffer from anxiety as i said already depression they have all sorts of issues that are holding them back in all sorts of ways and we all know this because everybody talks about it openly today and that thankfully is a good thing um you know we've got so much here so you you have a passion for what you do and it's easy to find on the internet as well as far as i know you're on linkedin and uh, you're on instagram and you're on facebook and you have your own websites um and so you know people you can actually um comment and obviously get in, in contact with sean now sean you have just a great sort of personality you know you, you've got a beautiful decor in the background there i'm really enjoying that and you, you've seemed very personable i mean i've been working with you for a little while in terms of as working with each other as coaches but um i know i i feel very comfortable with you and i think that's something you look to create is this really great safe space for people which i think is like a calming effect and people yes. certainly yeah. need that today and so how would you actually um 
when you wanted to well say somebody said to you hey i want to have a little session with you and um, see if it's something for me you know how would you actually connect with them and what would they do next um well like you say you can find me on quite other platforms lots of the platforms and um, social media platforms um, and the website to contact me depending on like you say what their need is in the therapy side of it um, I would go through all this all listen to what they have to say first of all um, and then see what what is best for them in, in the need to go forward um, if they needed a bit of tweaking of NLP and hypnotherapy, then that would be the process I'd put them through, like say mapping their what they need um, in type of their therapy through the sessions. Um, it'd be all done to requirement to bring them forward and to eliminate what needs to be done to move them, to get them back into a normal state to go forward in their lives. I love it. So it's a very simple process from their point because we use the high pollution words. Yes. You just yes. you guide them through, you find out where they are, where they're at, where they'd like to be, and what you need to do to help them on all sorts of these on these levels, particularly with the mental self or the mindset of a personality. Um, and then you guide them forward. This sounds excellent. Well, I would recommend, guys. I mean, I've had a lovely chat. I don't know about you, but I would recommend, you know, commenting and we'll get back to you and just, you know, anything you want to say or, or what you're feeling or what you like or don't like about this this uh, this live. But please, please, please respond be, you know, below. That would be fantastic. It's been a wonderful um, um, little time and conversation, little interview with you, Sean. I've really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to working with you further. Yes, been lovely speaking to you as well, Christina. Must do this again, definitely.